If you'd been picking these questions today, you've been interviewing yourself, what would you have asked yourself to get a great and exclusive answer? What was it like growing up in Zimbabwe? I have touched on it a little bit, but I think being fortunate enough to grow up in, in that country is something that a lot of people don't understand. And yeah, it is, it is a, it's a killer question there. Good, a good question. Presumably, you mean in, in a good way, growing up in Zimbabwe, was it? Oh, yes. Yes, absolutely, yeah. in a good way. I think we're fortunate, like I've said, to, to grow up in a, on a farm with so much open space and, and, you know, being able to play cricket, tennis and squash and football in the, in the back garden was just, was just brilliant. And it, it really was something that me and my brothers appreciate. And, and yeah, it was, it was obviously there's a lot of troubles that have come in the last few years and towards the back end of just before I moved over a lot of problems and we, we lost our farm and our house actually but yeah growing up as a child there it's, it's one of the best places I think to grow up. So you, you were basically that was it the land reclamation stuff that Mugabe was doing you were one of the victims of that when they took you took the farm off you? Yeah yeah so our family was one of that it actually happened just just after I moved over to England yeah one day about 20 people turned up at, at our house with my parents and the, my brothers in the house with axes and you name it, uh, threatening to kind of kill the family and said, if you don't leave the house, we will. I wasn't there, but like I said, my brothers and my parents were there and luckily my, my dad negotiated to have two weeks before they could literally have everything. And they, in the two weeks, my dad got my family out, got, got them out of the, out of the farm and, and yeah, just had to leave. And I actually went back there for the first time over, over, New Year's time, and I, I saw I drove past the, the farm and the house, and it's yeah, it's, it was a quite a emotional time, I guess. But it was yeah, it was pretty dangerous during that period of I think it was about 2006. It was quite dangerous back then. But yeah, I don't want to. But actual growing up there and and the country itself, it really is an amazing country. Wow, you, that was a killer question that you gave yourself because that was a a, mul a multi-leveled <laughs> answer. I mean, I, I've been to Zim, Gary, and I, it's a beautiful country as well. Some parts of Zimbabwe are absolutely magnificent, aren't they? Yeah, no, they are. They are. They read some, you know, Victoria Falls, Lake Kariba, some of the, the best places people would ever be able to visit. So it's had its problems, but I don't think it gets enough good media attention anyway. It gets all the negative stuff, but it is actually one of the most beautiful places around.